What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor Ray. I'm a Brooklyn-based actor, athlete, and activist. And this week I'm going upstate to the lake house on Canandaigua. It's on the Finger Lakes. It's about a five hour drive from New York City. We live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. We also have an electric car. So we stopped to charge only once on our trip. So it took a little bit over five and a half hours for us to get there. I did forget to film an intro of me talking during this video, so we got a nice little voiceover intro. Now, I will be showing you the entire hotel, telling you my pros and cons, and of course, giving you a couple vlog moments. So let's get into it. Here we are, we are at the hotel. We got here early and our room was ready, which was absolutely amazing. We had the double queen room because we did get a really good last minute deal on it, just right through the hotel website. This is the weekend before Memorial Day weekend, so keep in mind, we got a special deal also because of that. Look at my cute luggage. Guys, I love this luggage so much. It's from CalPAC, both pieces, and you really need it. You need it for your trips. I can't recommend it more. Now, as you saw, they did have an electric charger at the hotel and it was free. So this was truly such a game changer. I thought it was gonna be a lot more chilly than it was. It actually got ragingly hot during the day, enough for us to go in the pool, but I'm still in my little chill, cool outfit because it did get cloudy some of our weekend here. The interior is absolutely gorgeous and there are a lot of common spaces here. So this is just the lobby right when you come in. When you check in, you get a glass of champagne, which is amazing. Amazing. And then you can see the view right there of the lake, which is truly where we spent most of our time. This lake is absolutely massive. There's the pool out there. They have lawn games. They also have um, their restaurant entrances over there outside. You can reach them. And then this space is called the library where you can get a drink. You could also get coffee in the morning. They also had another common space, which was closed while I was filming this, but just truly so many spaces where you could work on your computer, where you could just sit and have a drink with friends, where you could chat. There were so many, so many spaces. This is even another one that's close to the restaurant. Just really great. Now this space here was right by the entrance to our hotel room. We were in the north building, so it was a little bit further from the main building, but not a big deal at all. They also had these taps with water so you could refill your water bottle. And here is our room. Now our room was truly the absolute furthest one from the main house, but like I said, we got a last minute deal on the website. I couldn't find it again, and I think it's because we're going into the summer. I'm sure they don't have any more deals, but this was was about $500 to $700 less than it would have been to get a lake view facing king room. Richard ordered some charcuterie and champagne for my birthday and I even got this card which was so nice. Love it, it was absolutely beautiful. And the hotel left me this little cupcake so that was just a very sweet little touch. In the room you'll find luxurious bathrobes. What I didn't love is that they were a size small and a size XL, and I feel like that's really making a lot of assumptions that the people that are gonna come here, if they're a couple, that there's a small woman and a big man. I feel like that's not super inclusive. I feel like they should ask you your robe preferences if they are gonna have them different sizes. Usually they're just one size fits all. But aside from that, it was so beautiful. You can hear the birds, you could hear the quiet. Do you hear that? Richard is such a cutie, love him. Then we walked on over to kind of just explore around. You can walk around with your alcohol throughout the grounds of the property, which is very great. This is the barn. There was a wedding happening this weekend, so they were setting that up all weekend. And the lake is, of course, beautiful and humongous. There are Adirondack chairs absolutely everywhere. Look at Richard looking like a absolute model here, just really giving what he's supposed to give. His haircut came out so iconic this weekend and yeah this was so relaxing as you could see it was looking like it was gonna storm the whole weekend said rain but it really ended up only drizzling for a couple hours so we really lucked out 
I of course got my super cute outfit from Fashion Pass as always. And I hope you guys know I do not get sponsored by Fashion Pass. I just love renting my clothes and it is a more sustainable way. So we gotta love it. My braids were just really thriving and I was feeling all the feelings just relaxing by the lake. This is the whole hotel. You could see how huge and beautiful it is. And we went to the spa. Now the spa is in a separate building, tons of different products that you could try out and buy. They have this sunroom where you can get tea, you could get some snacks. And guys, this room was gorgeous. Like so beautiful, so relaxing. We hung out here before and after our sauna experience. And I swear it was more than just like a sauna. You have all of these little treats, which I will explain to you in a moment. Ready? You each got a pitcher of water, you got a face mask, you got towels in ice, and also a little guide that describes exactly how to do this process for the best experience possible. Look at how absolutely beautiful this sauna is. Oh, I'm hot. I'm sweating. I'm warm. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> we were literally melting, but it was so much fun. It was gorgeous, it was relaxing, and it was just a really nice thing for us to do together. It truly felt like a very pampering experience, especially with all of those little add-ons. I truly recommend this. After going to the sauna, we decided to relax by the pool. There's a pool and a hot tub. There's lounge chairs, there's couches, tons of amenities. There's also a bar here. Just so beautiful and such a great thing to do. We then went to Rose Tavern for dinner, and I'm not gonna lie guys, it was not a great experience. Our server was completely kind and amazing, but the food was super duper overpriced. My lobster, for example, which I was happy to splurge on, was $110, didn't come with any sides, and was truly ice cold when it came out. I just felt like it wasn't amazing food, and it was definitely super expensive for what it was, and that's from someone who lives in New York City. The next day we woke up bright and early. Richard and I always try to wake up to see the sunrise anywhere that we travel and we achieved it. It was such a gorgeous walk from our hotel room. Like I said, it was a little bit far from the main house, but I think it was totally worth it in spending less money, especially because this was just a little weekend getaway. It wasn't like an absolutely important, huge trip that we wanted to splurge on, but the sunrise was just so beautiful and so peaceful. We walked back inside to the main house where we went to the library to get our morning coffee. We also had signed up for a yoga class, which was so great. Susan taught it and she was so amazing. It really focused on just like breath and mindfulness. It was a very beautiful yoga session that we had right after this. Then we went into town. Like I said, the town is really small. There's not tons of options here, but we did go to a really awesome diner and I was so happy with it. After the dinner that we had, I really did not want to spend a ton of money at the hotel. It wasn't a great experience, but the diner, the diner really was. Richard got me this special bottle of champagne that was hand painted for my birthday. We took it on over to the pool in these travel champagne flutes, which kept it nice and cold and really just relaxed for hours. Like I did not expect the weather to be so hot, but it was in the 90s and it was just the best choice we could have made. What do you wanna do? Play some cornhole. Do I want to play? No. <laughs> 
moving uh, forth. Final play, cornhole. I was honestly so tired. We drank a whole bottle of champagne and then yeah. we're just laying in the sun. I was feeling so lazy, but oh, playing cornhole one. ended up being a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, I Though I was definitely getting on Richard's nerves. <laughs> Ow. We also played Giant Connect 4 and then we headed on over to the sandbar to get some lunch. I'm really glad I made a reservation on Resi because it was packed, not only with hotel guests and people that were in town for that wedding I mentioned, but also just people that are local to the area. The sandbar was really good. I recommend it. It was way more casual. The seafood was super fresh and it was just a really beautiful setting on the lake. At night, we decided to go to New York Kitchen. We did reserve our spots earlier in the month for this cooking class that we are honestly so glad that we did. We got to choose before we got there, either duck or scallop. So Richard and I chose the scallop and then you have a chef guiding you through everything. You have recipes and you get to cook it yourself. It was truly so much fun. You're there with tons of other couples and friend groups. First, we had to toast the coconut. That's for our coconut rice. I was seasoning that asparagus. I promise I'm not putting 20,000 pounds of pepper. The shaker was a little rusty. It wasn't rusty, but it was like not all coming out. You know what I'm saying? Then we were mixing together that rice, nice and fluffy. That was the chef helping Richard out. And then we started reducing our beurre blanc, which I'm not gonna lie, I crushed it. And look at those scallops. This is the finished product, iconic. I was so proud of us and it tasted really good. We put on our robes and then put on some eye masks and went to bed. All right guys, it is our last day and I actually did remember to film a final segment. So let's get into it. We just packed everything up. We're getting ready to leave and head back home. Um, overall, I feel like it was a really great stay. Some of my pro tips, if you're coming here, there really isn't that much in the town. Like there's not a ton to do in this area. Obviously you could do water sports, the hotel super accommodating and telling you like a huge list of activities that are nearby or like within a half hour drive. We really wanted to stay in the neighborhood and the town itself doesn't really have that much. And so if you're looking for like a very adventurous or active or like really looking to explore, this might not be the place for you. The hotel restaurant dinner the first night was not absolutely iconic, but the sandbar was really good and the drinks were great. And overall, I think it's just a great experience if you wanna have a relaxing, chill vacation. I recommend doing a deal like we did for our room. We didn't spend any time in our room except to sleep and to shower. Of course, it would be amazing to have a lake facing room and after we're married and we just have those extra coins to spend that we are not hoarding for the wedding, we probably would have done that. So if you really wanna splurge, a lake view room is absolutely beautiful. But this room was truly not bad and I think it was an absolute amazing value. It was about five to 700 less than a lake view facing room and I mean, I think that's a pretty big, significant difference. Overall, I think I would come back, but the expectation would be that I'm really just gonna be laying down by the pool, maxing and relaxing, which we still love, but it's not so much an adventure kind of upstate vacation, which is what we did more last year at Whiteface Lodge. Today we would have gone hiking, but it is supposed to be thunderstorms all day. So maybe if we would have gone hiking, it would have been different. Maybe if we did some water sports, it would have been different. But overall, really good. Highly recommend. If you have any questions, you could drop it below and I will get back to you. I also have people DM me all the time when I travel just on Instagram asking me my thoughts about specific things. So feel free to do that. You can follow me at Taylor Wright Almonte. I'll see you next time.